Welcome, this is the Energy Vibration Reading for all Sun, Moon, and Rising Capricorns. I want to say thank you for being here. Thank you for being back. It is a wonderful week because um, July 4th is Independence Day. So um, the Americans uh, will be celebrating Independence Day. So this is going to be wonderful. And it is also my second year anniversary of Independence uh, for myself for starting on YouTube. So... I want to thank you Capricorn so much for the support um, the last couple of, the last year um, it has been so wonderful thank you um, I'm hoping to reach my 10,000 views um, so I hope by 4th of July okay um, another announcement is that um, I'll be going live on YouTube uh, 4th of July um, as a thank you to each and every person so we have a Q and a question and answer so for all the people who that would like to join me um, and connect with me on YouTube you know welcome it is going to be at 11 o'clock Eastern Standard Time so I'm hoping that you will all connect and join with us in um, speaking about the new energies and the stuff that are that are coming out and a question and answer section okay so you Capricorns okay there is money in the reading there is love but there's also an end to a situation which is very good the ten of swords is here but um, the week is the week of the wheel of fortune please remember yeah my hair please remember to um, listen to your Sun Moon and Rising sign please like and share these videos and thumbs up okay um, it's, it's a week for you Capricorns where a lot of things are going to be clear up okay a lot of things there's a huge victory and success some people are going to have promotions a victory and a success promotions in a lot of things this is um, the energy vibration of the wheel of fortune for this week so it's going to be a wonderful wonderful week because you're ending certain things in your life things that was uh, um, that was affecting you and you're, you're ending them and you're being victorious over diversity you're being victorious over your burdens and that sort of a thing and uh, you have help coming in the queen the king of cups and you have other helps coming in there is going to be a perform um, you're going to justify it and stand up against something that has happened to you and um, you hand the week uh, and the weekend with the star and the world so congratulations you Capricorns whatever is going to happen for you guys the wheel of fortune is bringing you guys luck in this week okay and even if money isn't here with the star and the world together in the weekend that I expect that on Saturday magical things are going to happen for you because I'm seeing what you line up here is uh, um, the 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 sword the ace of sword which is victory and success over diversity and then you have the stars your wishes and your dreams are coming true and then you have the energy of the world and this is wonderful and whatever is happening um, be aware of the energies sorry I have a hair all over my face be aware of the energies that are coming out and all the situation that is affecting you in this lifetime and understand how beautiful it is to be here at this time on this planet and it doesn't really matter what you have been going through because last week the energies were so heavy because even for myself I was having I was people were like coming at me like you know from different angles different ways there was nice people there were people who were very nice there were Carmen people people who I went to organization and the people were so Carmen and that sort of a thing but there is seems to be the energy vibration that was coming out even people who I you know that sort of a thing so last week energy was just so strong and I guess it has to erupt something for you guys to come out so if last week you had really really bad energies of you feeling mm, and uh, you're having all sort of people coming at you yeah um, but there is going to be a calming down because whatsoever that has been happening in your life whatever injustice that you have gone through is actually going to heal in this week okay 
there's a lot of healing that is coming in as early as the angelical beings are coming in to bring in this healing the week is the week of the zodiac energy the, the wheel of fortune but the wheel of fortune is a fire sign and the wheel of fortune supports you so say it doesn't really matter um you know uh, who you are and what sign you are um, the whenever the wheel of fortune is uh, the week is a is a cosmetic situation it's a situation and it has happened in lifetime and lifetime before that is going to come out okay so um, whenever the wheel of fortune comes uh, the wheel of fortune is uh, very wonderful it's a wonderful um, thing it's it is uh, when you are going to have to deal with um, some karmatic situations in your life okay and these are situations that sort of coming from lifetime from lifetime some people are here who are just clearing commas with other people okay remember that not all of us are reconnected and some of us are just volunteers um, that come here to help clear the energies uh, that other people are having okay because a lot of people are reincarnated and uh, the universal angels want them to uh, reinstate and remember their true divine purpose and people like myself comes in to help you okay I'm just a volunteer I'm not a part of this planet <laughs> I'm sorry and I really don't care what people think when I say that sort of a thing at least I know who I am and um, whenever we find ourselves because I, I just it's it's um, uh, love is the most important thing and the way we treat each other is not the way we should celebration is going to be um, your focus in this week celebration is going to be your focus because whatsoever is happening you're leaving something behind and you're walking away from um, people and uh, um, the hypocrisy ip 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 um, that people keeps up and um, you're just looking at it and I'm, I'm, I'm telling you because I've I have to deal with certain things like these and I think that you know um, learn and understand that this planet is based off these sort of energies you know and people won't change if you don't change yourself other people won't change because when you can look at these things and walk away and understand where you are and how far you are and how you can bring positive out of the other people and let people see their true life then and their true light then they will understand that we need to be positive and we need to take care of each other we need to be respectful of each other and we need to stop the lying and the cheat and the hypocrisy that is going on okay we need to bring back love on this planet because without that we're not going to survive this shift as we move forward um, and we're looking I'm looking at your energies and I just want to bring this out because this is one of my most favorite cards in this deck I love the way they designed it it is so nicely designed this is the ace of swords so there's going to be a big victory and success on Monday whatever the situation is it's going to be a huge victory and success and this this you have used the source to cut away all the bullshit that has been going on okay you've used the source to heal and with the healing you're bringing forth positive energy and good light in your life and also in the life of others so this is a wonderful thing and no matter whoever and whatever the naysayers and whatever is attacking you you don't have to worry because the universal angels are going to guide and protect you and all you need to do is ask ask for divine intervention in whatsoever situation is going on and ask for the positive and good positive energies and understanding okay on Tuesday we have a burden and the burden um, has uh, and carries the energy vibration of a uh, um, someone of a water sign that is uh, um, bringing a burden some situation down on you and you're wondering um, my god when is this you know I need to release this burden okay so whatever is happening and um, you have a situation with a water sign person you know it's okay because maybe that person means it in a good way okay so don't feel as if this person is so burdened you maybe it's the way they say things or the way 
they want things to happen and you know it might comes out uh, wrongly okay here we go we had the seven of wands the seven of wands is a very good energy because you're protecting yourself from the forces of negativity and most of the time you're just protecting yourself from people you just want to keep them off okay um, I tend to have that also because the energy vibration is changing and I think people are getting more crazy and crazier and they're not even seeing that for themselves people are connecting and doing things that is just so unbelievable and we need to understand that without um, bringing back love and light to this planet uh, we won't survive this shift we need to survive this shift this shift needs to happen okay and I'm trying my best um, to help um, all the people and to touch all the people lives that I can touch to make you know that you're a true spiritual beam and each and every one of you are beautiful you are a star you are a part of the universe okay so it doesn't really matter who is treating you badly and um, situation that is happening around you each one of us is a star we have the three of heart in, re in reverse which is a wonderful thing so I guess a lot of Capricorns are learning how to deal with their emotions and to realize that certain things um, that happen um, whenever I have like um, uh, heartbreak things or so the best way to look at it is that what was the lesson I learned from this uh, what was the lesson I learned from this okay I used to give 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 and now I decided not to anymore because I think that people take advantage of situations most of the time um, so I um, I have withdrawn myself from that sort of a thing so whenever things like these happen like I'm having like something that is like I kind of change my energy vibration and change how it is and this is how it comes out that I can now deal with certain aspect and I said okay whatever it was the time has come and each person have to move on and each one of us is on their journey so maybe you have helped the person you have helped the person to a situation and you're moving away from that situation because that lesson has been learned and whatsoever it was supposed to be healed is healed and you can move on okay so here you are now having art break whatever it was the ten of swords is like in the reverse form so it says you were beaten up you were stabbed you were wounded and you had failed outbreak but now you think you know seriously I mean let's look at the situation what has really happened and then you kind of regain your self-confidence because self-confidence has a lot to do and especially if you're in a relationship and you're not feeling self-confidence and that your partner is kind of breaking your own energy and making you feel not confident be aware this is not a relationship that you should be in we have the um, Hermit on Friday and Hermit on Friday is a very wonderful card because we begin the week with a, a sword card which you um, stand up for injustice and equality which is extremely good because that's what the sword is saying is that you use the sword to cut through the sh and find the truth and on Friday you are looking within and you're seen in a wisdom and in a light within yourself and on Saturday uh, whatever is happening the universal angels and the guides are showing you that inner light which is coming in with that inner light whatever your financial situation is and whatever you're working on it is going to be a huge success because on Saturday the star comes out and this is a wonderful wonderful the situation that is coming in your life and this is a really positive because the energy of the star especially with this card deck is just such a beautiful um, deck thanks Deborah who uh, the person who have made this uh, she is I think Belgian uh, she's half white she's so brilliant um, these cards is as if they were made for my soul so whenever I use them it's as if the message comes out so clearly so the star is saying that each and every one of us, whatever you um, send out in the universe, whatever you manifest, and re remember when you're manifesting, manifest happiness and blessings. The last things you should ask for is an healing for the planet and happiness and blessing for each and every person. Okay, this is very good to say, especially when you ask for something for yourself. Then the last thing you should ask for is blessing for the earth and healing for the earth. Okay, whatever is happening, 
um, we have the energy of a fire sign um, that is coming in and is trying you know it's a it's a young energy somebody between the ages of 18 and 35 and this fire sign is coming in on Saturday it's as if he wants to connect with you in some ways or the other um, the energy of the star is actually you um, elevating um, it's going to be an awareness people are uh, being grateful to you that sort of a thing or you're connecting with other people and you're bringing out an energy and people are really liking what they're feeling so it doesn't really matter where you are what you're doing if even you're walking to um, the shopping center or whatever you're doing you know you just uh, um, you know ele elevate and even if you are having just this piss of a day change it over because no matter what your situation is there's somebody else who's having a worse situation trust me as we move forward we have also the world and this is such a wonderful wonderful weekend that it's going to be happening next weekend because you have the energy of the star and the world together and this is so beautiful so on Saturday the star of the world what do we know about this this is all the universal angels and beams are coming in whatever that was happening you have a victory and a success on Monday and whatever what was happening um, in the weekend you are going to see wonderful things happening to you just out of the start of miracles because it's as if the universal angels are going to bring this in whoever is supporting you your guides and angels are going to make sure that whatever is happening is that you will be protected and whatever you need will manifest in your life and trust me the manifestation of things happening in your life is happening very rapidly the the, the energies if you realize it's as if the year has gone by so it's as a quint in the high so remember your weekend you have the star on Saturday and on Sunday you have the energy of the world this energy of the world is just an end into a negative situation situation that has been going on that has been affecting your life for a very long time and the world has opened up to you and show you how um, your life forward is going to be on Sunday connect with um, you know if even you're alone or try and have some alone time and connect with the spirit world um, if you have someone who has passed over your mom your grandmother and your your father your grandfather connect with them light a candle and connect with them ask them for divine protection and to help you in whatever you would like to have because Sunday this weekend for you Capricorns is going to be a very blessed promising weekend for the people who have angelica beam and um, the cosmic families try and connect with them on Sunday okay I love this I um, I really love this reading for you guys um, energy of uh, um, let's look at what's happening um, what is happening is that it's a masculine week it's an extremely masculine week in the sense that work is going to be a vital focus there is going to be a lot of promotions for a lot of people when I said promotions you're going to be well known that sort of a thing you're working on things that is going to help other people that sort of a thing you could be um, you know and, and I want to throw this out there to um, people who are looking for jobs and can't find jobs go and see if you can connect to finding jobs and you know supporting someone even being a big sister or a big brother because I'm really thinking about doing that also for myself and uh, you know connecting with people try and find organization and groups that need you to connect with people and I think you know one of the um, other things is going to work with old people to help them to support them for the rest of their time on the um, on the planet Earth because that is going to give you back uh, um, a wonderful blessings that is going to come in your life because once you um, be of service to a people organization or situation especially service in a way that you're giving yourself and you're really doing it from out of a good place it's going to be returned to you okay the energy that we have is the ten of wands whatever it is having with this ten of wands whatever burden you have you're going to be victorious and successful over whatever situation that is going to 
um, be happening and the star the energy of the star is going to come out so whatsoever is happening in your life whatever burden you have been carrying um, for a very long time you're going to be victorious and successful and you're going to come out and be the star in whatsoever that is going on as I've always tell people no one can block you um, whenever the universe thinks that you have played enough and you've tried to ruin someone enough something good always come in to remove whatever negative energies that are happening okay um, the, the the week is you're being and you're trying to protect yourself you're trying to protect yourself from things that are coming in at you and these energies of uh, everyone needs to protect themselves it doesn't really matter what you need to protect yourself because if you realize all the ro the road rages is that so many people are so entwined and so boiling up and you can see whenever the shift there's a shift of the energy on the planet you see an increase of uh, accidents and people doing these crazy things and road rage and killing people because they're where I am now is just there's so many road rage that is going on that is unbelievable so you're protecting yourself from negative forces and uh, um, the energy vibration of your family is also also supporting you in this endeavor people are supporting you whatsoever is happening people are supporting you your family really really loves you and they really connect with you we have the three of sword in reverse which is a wonderful energy to be in reverse and we have also the emperor that is coming up to show you the inner light within you and um, to use the wisdom that you have within you and the world is going to be the outcome of whatsoever is happening the world is going to be the outcome so remember when the um, um, you're not are broken anymore you see things as there is and you are just accepting them at face value you were stabbed in the back um, with all different sort of a thing and now you're coming out of that negative aspect so remember again please connect on Sunday love is going to be wonderful love is going to be there is going to be so much love if you're connected with the king uh, with an uh, Pisces a cancer or a, a Scorpio um, it's going to be a wonderful if even though sometimes you feel as if uh, Ah, uh, you know, um, this person has so much love for you, and um, he will do anything to make sure that you uh, feel good and have and can celebrate. Okay, and um, what I'm getting is that this person has been with you for a very long time, and there is really love that is shared between you two, and it's going to be positive because the sun. It's as if the energy of the universe is beaming down on you too and whatever burden that was there it's going to fade away because you two seems to be fighting against something and this is the love reading of whatever is happening and you are you are connected with uh, you're connected with um, the source of uh, um, this water sign you're going to be protected as we look at the energy a lot of people are going to have victory and success but it's going to lead you to places beyond your wildest dream but there is a situation where your career seems to be the most important thing for some people they're in love with what they're doing and in love with their career uh, be aware of that we need to connect with another human being we can't just focus ourselves on just one thing and one thing alone we need to connect with other people and we need to um, you know f uh, really uh, seems to find clarity about where we are and how and it's not everyone was meant to have a partner but majority of you out there was meant to have a partner so try and find that common ground and realize that uh, um, just focusing on everything um, and not focusing on finding a true partner um, can affect you in the long run because this is a time where we need to connect with our partners uh, soulmate twill and flame um, we need to connect to these people so you know acts that the star is coming in 
Sunday is going to be the full moon this is going to be a very good full moon because it's the full moon in Capricorn I think and this is good and what is happening is that the world is here on Sunday with the energy of the universal beams and angels are coming in so make make really really make um, a positive sense of what is happening and this is good and I, I, I have I am using the energy vibration of the vortex and <laughs> my guys and angels said this is the message for you I just really come up with this um, wonderful because I've loved the vortex and this is something that is going to be so powerful and it says why do I want the relationship I want this is the second time this comes out and anyway why do I want the relationships that I want I'm gonna and take another car because this came out for something else so I guess there's a situation with relationship think about what you want in a relationship and why you want it look for those around you who are experiencing good relationships and feel appreciated for them make a list of the positive aspect of those uh, good feelings good relationship you have spent times with in fact one are the fastest way to make your way to a wonderful relationship is to find any uh, subject that uh, uh, constantly feels and makes you feel good and do whatever the relationship and focus on that okay so um, think about what kind of relationship you'd like to have and how you'd like that to play out in your life and focus on that and that will help you to bring in the energy of this wonderful relationship it's it's the second time I've gotten this so I, apparently the vortex energy of relationships is coming up for you guys the other thing that I have is this message for you guys because I think I should draw another message and it says let me it seems to find it right it says um, beneficial benefits feels better when I think them there are things in your environment that you believe that match what you want and there are all kinds of things in your environment that you blind you're blind to and deny what you want how did you ever sort them out how do you know the action believe within you the service you well or negative um, aspect of yourself how do you know the beautiful benefits from the determining how who we are the benefits the blessings that feel better when you think about them determinations and feeling worse when you um, think them this is a very nice beneficiary um, beneficial beliefs feelings better when I think about them and this is good I always hold my hands up like this and um, this is a very very good um, energies that we are having for you Capricorns at this week seeing that the changes and situation that's are, that's coming in okay we need to um, see what's happening and we're using the energies of the abundance and the energy of the abundance is you want what you want because you know it's possible if it wasn't you wouldn't this is a powerful embrace it for whatever else you believe or don't believe this a belief alone can take you the distance okay and what you want and what you want you will receive so this is a wonderful energy I love the back of it I'm always showing you guys the back of it so you can focus on whatever focus on this when you're trying to manifest whatever you'd like in your life okay this is going to be a wonderful week for you guys because it's a week of celebration the wheel of fortune with the week of celebration so it's wonderful for you Capricorns whatever is happening whatever art break you had whatever um, oppression you had you you are going to survive it no matter what so I'm saying to each and every person out there namaste remember um, to listen to your Sun Moon and Rising sign and please like and share these videos and thumbs up 
and I'm wishing you a wonderful week and a wonderful independence for all the Americans who are going to um, do independence. So, namaste. <laughs>